Hi Air Science, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see um, what will happen the next time you guys see each other, okay? So um, what you can expect to unfold the next time you and your special person um, come back together. It is going to be a general reading guys, please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below. Otherwise, guys, take a moment uh, to focus on your special someone and we'll go ahead and see what will happen the next time the two of you catch up with one another. Okay, there is traveling involved here. So there is a bit of a distance maybe um, right now. Um, either a physical distance, a geographical distance, the two of you may be um, at a distance from one another, you might be doing this long distance, uh, it could also be an emotional distance, okay, maybe the both of you have grown apart or are growing apart or there's something here that's wedging uh, distance between yourself and your person. Definitely travel. Okay, so for a lot of you, from what I can see, this person isn't necessarily, you know, um, I feel like this person isn't necessarily near you right now, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you, this is a long distance relationship. Um, or maybe this is someone who, ha you know, who lives or currently is uh, positioned in a different country, in a different city or a state. Um, it just feels like there's, there's a bit of a distance. Again, whether it's geographical, whether it's a physical distance, this person is at a distance, or this person is keeping their distance from you, okay? So the person that's on your mind right now, the person that you're romantically involved with, unfortunately, you know, you guys aren't as close and um, as things aren't as intimate as you'd like for them to be. So there's a bit of a maybe an emotional distance. What is going to happen the next time that you see them? I see this travel involved, okay? So whether this person is traveling at a distance to see you, whether you're traveling at a distance to see them, it could also mean that um, for some of you, I think it, it could also, uh, the energies could also seem to indicate that the the next time that you do catch up with one another, it feels very spontaneous. Like it doesn't feel like, it does feel like this person has been planning and has been thinking about um, either traveling to see you or has been wanting to see you for quite some time. You know, they want to bridge this distance, so to speak, um, but it just feels like they've sort of been going back and forth in their head about it. Um, and it feels like when eventually the two of you do, you know, um, plan to meet uh, one another, it potentially could mean that, you know, this person will just sort of jump at the opportunity. Um, could also be online though, okay? This could be someone that you have met online or it could be that, you know, the next time you guys do communicate with one another, I mean, it kind of makes sense, especially if you're doing long distance with this individual, that'll be like a, you know, um, FaceTime or Zoom. Um, it might be online contact, online communication, like an online call of that sort. Um, this person, I feel like the both of you might not necessarily, you might not be communicating right now or for some of you, maybe you are communicating um, and maybe it's like early days, you guys are sort of spying on each other. You know, you're trying to Google search um, each other. You're trying to um, spy on each other's um, like social media accounts. I feel like you're doing a little bit of creeping. You're doing a little bit of stalking. And so is this person, okay? Um, especially for those of you that ha have just recently started out and you're trying to get, you know, you're still in the process of getting to know each other. Um, it seems like this person is like this, this strong energy of curiosity. This person is very curious to want to get to know you, um, you know, more about you, more about, you know, your environment, your world, your friends, your social circle, all of that sort. Um, otherwise, if this is someone that um, you aren't necessarily communicating with right now, it feels like for some reason you or this person is checking in. It's like they're checking up on you. They're keeping tabs on you. Okay. And I don't know why they would be doing this, especially if there is a distance between you. It makes sense that this person is then, um, you know, the reason why they're checking into your uh, Facebook or Instagram or, you know, your TikTok account or anything is just to sort of, it's their way of feeling c connected with you. Okay. Their way of, you know, staying connected, even though you guys might be at a distance from each other, again, whether physical or emotional, but it's their way of keeping, um, you know, keeping connected to you. Um, 
there's a strong energy of the both of you wanting to work on this okay strong energy of the both of you wanting to fix something so um again i feel like that makes sense if right now you guys are at a bit of a disconnection or you guys are going through something or especially if you know some of you are doing long distance uh, with this person and it's obviously been very difficult and it, it obviously you know has its challenges um can be very difficult to maintain and it's like the both of you are coming together and it's like you know you're talking about how to build on this connection you're talking about you know um what to like how to make it better how to strengthen the connection how the two of you can um you know bring each other closer together it's like in the both of you it's like a very strong collaborative energy it's like the both of you are wanting to either fix something in the relationship okay fix some issues that the relationship is has suffered from or is suffering from or it's like they maybe this person has wronged you okay this person has done wrong by you they have said something to have hurt you or they've hurt the relationship uh, maybe they put you in a third party situation maybe they weren't necessarily entirely committed to um you know the idea of this relationship or weren't committed to the idea of entering into a relationship and it's like I see either they're really expressing themselves so either they're very sorry and they're very apologetic and therefore they're asking for your forgiveness and they want it's like they're wanting maybe a second chance with you they're wanting to fix things with you they want to make something right by you um you know they want to prove themselves to you they want to prove that they're loyal they want to prove that you know they're the one for you they want to prove that they can do this and it's like you know for some of for some of you listening to this it's like they're asking you how can they fix this Okay, how can they fix this? How can they make it right? Can they? I don't know. You, you, you know, you decide. I don't know what they've done, if the damage is repairable or not here. But it does feel like there's forgiveness. Um, you know, either this person is coming in with an explanation of some sort, um, with, with a plan. They could be coming in with a plan, you know, on how to move forward from something. They could be um, trying to work on things. Okay, they could be trying to fix through um, and try to resolve and repair something that they've said or done or try to repair you know the damages that they've done to this uh, relationship so it's um but the i feel like the both of you are really wanting to work on this i'm also seeing that um i don't think it's for i'm saying i'm a lot i'm sure that's frustrating some of you i don't think this is for every one of you but i do see that there is someone he has either been going to or someone he has brought up the idea of couples counseling or even therapy or seeking some professional advice whether it is you know through a counselor through a therapist or like a close friend or a uh, family member just like a close connecting energy someone who can sort of console them and offer some very valuable advice i'm seeing that that um, has been happening or is going to happen in the future I'm also seeing that at this point, I feel like for some of you, this person has put you in a position where it may have been a third party situation or has put you in a position where they didn't entirely want it to commit to the relationship. Okay. Or if it's vice versa, take it as it resonates with you. Uh, it's like this person um, maybe felt like, you know, they wanted to keep their options open or they wanted to, you know, see if the grass is greener on the other side if the greener pastures elsewhere and it's like they got they got that okay they were you know maybe they um did have choices around them maybe they did go and see you know check out to see if the grass is green on the other side and i feel like they've been humbled is what i'm picking up on okay they've been humbled they learned the lesson the grass is green now where you water it most okay um and you know they've had options but I've, but out of all the options they had they choose you you're their numero uno you're their number one so, okay so it feels like this person has learned a lesson it feels like the universe has humbled them a little bit so they're coming back which makes sense right because i feel like this is you know going back to them to the whole thing of them wanting to apologize or them wanting to explain themselves um it's like they've they've been taught a lesson it's like they learned the lesson i mean sure it's been the hard way but you know at least they learned it right so yeah i do feel like there's a strong apology there's a strong energy of them asking for your forgiveness them wanting to seek your forgiveness them wanting to apologize them wanting to make things right them wanting to do right by you um it does feel like it was a little bit one-sided at one point it's a little bit imbalanced for some of you maybe this person has put you in a third party or maybe there's something here that kind of separated you okay whether it's this long distance thing or whatever it's you know whatever it is that got in the way 
but now this person is definitely trying to manifest you, he's trying to mani like manifest um, a reconciliation, or he's trying to manifest contact or communication, or even try to set up a um, set up a time and set up a date to see you next, okay? So it feels like this person has been planning, okay? They've been planning um, on when to see you next, they've been planning on what to say. There's been a lot of planning involved here, but as I've mentioned, when things eventually will happen, Despite all this, you know, extensive planning and whatnot, it will happen very spontaneously. It will. It's like very spontaneously. I'm also seeing that they've been trying to work on themselves. So, and that's something they could even turn around and tell you as well. That they've been trying to become a better person for you. And I think it may you know it may be for you it may be because they're trying to prove themselves but i also feel like you've been the inspiration behind that as well you know this person wants to do better wants to you know become a better version of themselves because you've inspired that within them and that's that's pretty powerful okay um but yeah i just feel like this is someone who like it's a bit of an emotionally scattered energy right now there are feelings involved but it's just like you know um the emotions are running like the energies are running very high and very rampant and it's just a matter of you know um channeling that energy into the right outlets so next time you see each other i just feel like it's going to be um there's going to be a lot of talking okay there's going to be a lot of uh talking a lot of opening up i feel like this it's more this person doing that talking because i feel like and, you know, that's ironic considering you're the air sign governed by, by a mental energy. But I just feel like it's this person who, you know, is coming in with an apology. is coming in an explanation. I feel like it's this person who was wronged by, who was wronged by you. Um, oh, sorry, who's done wrong by you. Okay, so this person is definitely, he or she has had you on their mind. They're definitely trying to manifest contact, communication trying to manifest a future with you okay and if you've had some if you've had past a past with this person if you've had issue with this person this person is trying to um, come back is trying to reach you okay especially from a distance from what it seems um, so if you guys are disconnected they may be trying to reach you energetically and emotionally all right guys and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye